Welcome back to Dufferin Life. Thanks so much for staying with us. And if you're just tuning in, you tuned in at a great time. And you know what? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tina, you always say that. But you know what? Every guest I bring on the show, um, I so enjoy talking about what they're here to talk about. And we're going to talk about something that's new to Dufferin County and for Orangeville. Joining me today, we have Tim Wilson. He is the owner of the Orangeville Blitz hockey team. Thank you for joining me. Thanks, Tina. Thanks for having me. It's totally my pleasure. So I'm going to start off, we're going to start with the basics. We're going to start off with, tell us uh, about the Orangeville Blitz team and, uh, what, and where it came from. Well, we're uh, an elite level senior hockey team. Um, you can call it triple A, double A, single A, but it's senior hockey, 20 year old plus okay. players. So um, young men that have uh, aged out of junior hockey um, all the way up to the ranks of the NHL. We have a couple NHLers playing in the league, retired NHLers. Amazing. Um, yeah, it's pretty good hockey for sure. It's, uh, I, I think it's uh, a little bit better than junior hockey and uh, definitely it's very very entertaining and, and Orangeville is in for quite a surprise for sure. I think so. I mean we, we are a big lacrosse uh, county, the Dufferin County and we, we, we've, uh, we've had our hockey teams and we, but I think this, this is something really new and exciting. So where did the WOSHL come from? The Western Ontario Super Hockey League uh, started in Stratford. Okay. Um, so Southwestern Ontario and it started with uh, only five teams and uh, we are the, we would have been the ninth expansion team uh, in year two. Okay. So this is year three and there's two more additional teams uh, with Dunville and Petrolia. So they're quite, quite the hike, but uh, we, were, we almost had a 12th team to make two divisions this year. So it was close, um, but the, the league's exploding and um, they're, they're really progressive. Make decisions right away. Um, it's professionally done. Uh, there's there's a group of lawyers, like everything. Like it, this is a real business, mm -hmm. and uh, it's taking off. The Western Ontario Super Hockey League is really a, a really good product that I bought into right away. As soon as I, I left their AGM, uh, right, the, my first AGM that I was invited to, and uh, it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. I was impressed, and I, I had to get involved. Okay, for well, sure. Tell us a little bit about the team. Um, well, we've got uh, we've got a few local guys. I think we're six or eight local guys and then the rest are from surrounding areas you know okay. Brampton, Brampton, Caledon, um, there's, a, there's a bunch from Toronto. Um, I think we're the closest team or well, we're the furthest team east and northeast so we, we have the rights to Dufferin County. Nice. Um, so the players are really coming from everywhere. We've got guys from Bramp uh, Barrie, Brampton, uh, Innisfil, um, we're still lo looking for local talented boys for sure. Um, to join the team, you know, it, it's it's high level, uh, it's fast, hard hitting. Um, we got the half shield, so it looks like real hockey. You know, um, the odd fight. I think we averaged, I think it was 0 .3 fights per game last okay. season. Okay. And that's as a as league wide. So uh, we had six fights all season. Um, of and which that's what makes the. In case you're wondering, that if you haven't watched, that's what makes hockey hockey. Because I know when uh, my family was watching hockey and they kind of got rid of like the NHL you know they got the, the fights became much less um, there was a lot of disappointed people in my home right you know <laughs> and and this is a working man's league so safety is priority mm -hmm. number one hundred percent of safety for sure so the fights actually happen uh, like the olden days I mean if you're taking liberties on on our players or any players on mm -hmm. the ice for that matter um, somebody's gonna have to answer the bell unfortunately <laughs> you know I know they're trying to get rid of it and in hockey or, or at least tone it back and and we're we're, we're no different you well know, for I mean sure, but safety we, is important you're absolutely right I 100% mean, yeah. yeah you can't be taking runs at guys and and then this is a working man's league mm -hmm. we have two Friday night games the rest are Saturday and then we have one Sunday game okay you know so I mean the boys uh, I mean we have uh, two new fathers on our team as well you know so they don't want to go home all banged up no you know? but they I'll not. tell you this is uh, this is more competitive than any um, senior hockey that I've seen like the intensity is huge the, comp the compete level is off the charts really compared to other senior leagues that um, I've actually been in the same building with and I think that makes all the difference in the world because it doesn't matter whether you're watching a hockey game or you're going to theater the audience feeds off the energy in the room no and question. if the energy is there, then the audience is super pumped, and they're having a great time no matter what. Absolutely, absolutely. We we had a game. Uh, we we opened up the league. We were second team to open up the league on Friday, last Friday, and we had a slow start. 
the bus was delayed with um, traffic and accidents, so we we got there late. We and and pretty much we're right on the ice, almost mm -hmm. like you're late for your tea time. We were right there at game time, so we just made the first whistle. Um, we got spanked for six goals in the first period. Okay. And then we went. We started competing after the second and third. So I mean. Uh, for those of you out there, don't be uh, don't be worried about that first score that we had because it's not an indication of who we are. Oh, well, I don't know, think I mean yeah. we've got some very talented players. Well, it's definitely very exciting. So let's talk about what's really really exciting. It's coming up this weekend on the 14th. Tell me uh, what I'm expecting for home opener. That's only two weeks. That's crazy. <laughs> it's coming real quick. Um, we are expect Tap House, um, local Tap House uh, mm -hmm. brewery here. Um, Mike Beatty is going to be hosting. Uh, our tailgate party. It'll be relatively tame. We'll have a barbecue and mm -hmm. uh, we'll have a fenced out uh, licensed beer garden. Um, we're going to have some music. We're probably going to do some stuff for the kids. So the kids are more than welcome. Obviously not in the beer garden, but uh, we'll have some events and stuff for the kids. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun for sure. And Tap House is also running our Blue Line Club. When the Blue Line Club is where you can um, get some beers. Okay. Beers, wine, um, liquor. You know, the whole, all the seating is going to be licensed for every event, every game. And um, tailgate party, we, we might do a couple throughout the year, but definitely for the kickoff, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we haven't even talked about where you guys are playing from. We are playing. For your home games. <laughs> yeah, we are practicing and playing out of Alder Street Arena, which is amazing. So we practice where we play. Um, both ice surfaces are the same size, so whether we practice on green or red, and they have a thousand seats mm -hmm. and uh, lots of standing room, so I think we could probably jam in there uh, 12 or 1300 people, you know, which would be amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Really, and I'll tell you, the boys feed off that. I, mean, oh, I was just going to say that. We talked about how the audience feeds off the team, but the team feeds off the audience as well, right? No question. No yeah. question at all. I mean, uh, we we have a lot of uh, in-game fun with the fans too. We do T-shirt tosses, towel tosses, like we prizes. We mm -hmm. have a mascot, um, which is uh, we're hoping they're going to be 100% attendance, but that's always a tough one to fill those mm -hmm. shoes, and they're big shoes, <laughs> and uh, the kids are going to be uh, gobbling up uh, our our. Your mascot. Our mascot. I don't want to blow the uh, surprise. No, I know, and I was good. At, I know. I'm just telling you. I know, but I'm not going to blow the surprise either. But you got to go out and you got to see it because it's going to be something to see for sure. It's going to be a lot of fun, guaranteed, guaranteed fun. You know for sure. And we have pricing um, starting at tax in pricing because we got to give our share to the government. Mm -hmm. um, we've got twelve dollars for adults. I think it's ten for seniors. Nine or ten for seniors. And then students are six bucks, and then I think don't don't hold me to everything, but it's <laughs> it's right there on the website. And kids at five and under, accompanied with a parent, um, are free. That's amazing. Yeah, so we're we're hoping to fill the stands. Well, there's a big hockey. Um, th I mean, there th there's hockey. The, all the junior hockey teams and everything. I can't imagine that they wouldn't want to come out and, and check everything out and, and see uh, see the action. For we're sure. hoping. We're hoping for sure. Um, we are, I was told that, uh, I, I just learned this last week, that we are the highest level and the highest age group ever to play in uh, Orangeville, okay. ever. So we're the first uh, elite level adult team to ever play in Orangeville, so. Well, certainly it's very exciting. Yes. It certainly is. So let's talk about, um, I mean, you're gonna, don't worry, you're gonna get all the information, the website's gonna appear, and at the end you're gonna find out when all the home games are so that you can go ahead and get your tickets. But um, I also hear rumor that we're gonna see some of the games here on Rogers. Yes, I'm told, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised that we are gonna see at least one, once a month, we're see your team and crew uh, recording our games. And uh, I think after practices, I've been told that uh, some of our players will be interviewed. Um, yeah, the, the attention that you guys are, Rogers is giving us is, very much appreciated and uh, and we value it for sure. Yeah, for absolutely. Sure. And I mean, I always say um, one of the things I love to do on my show is create awareness. And when you have something completely new to to what uh, to the community, you want to make sure that you get it out there every way you can. And you guys can get it out there by going online and going to social media and find the Orangeville Blitz hockey team and sharing it with the people you know and sharing it with your friends and that sort of thing. And um, let's just make this amazing for uh, all of Dufferin County, but for the Orangeville Blitz team as well. So let's talk about the tryouts. What, what type of process did you go through for tryouts? 
Well, we were we were in a complete rebuild situation this year. Um, we had one returning player. Um, my old team uh, stayed where they were, and they wanted to succeed in their hometown, mm -hmm. and uh, which is fine. A little hurtful at the time, <laughs> but done not right. But I'm okay with that. We don't look back. We look forward, and uh, and everything's looking really bright. So, but trial process uh, was a complete rebuild again this season, which I'm not on familiar with because in junior hockey uh, our record number of returning players we, we owned another team in the past for a bunch of years and a top team and um, our record returning player was uh, I think five so I'm, wow. I'm used to rebuilding <laughs> we, right. we lose we lost all our junior players to higher levels you know mm -hmm. so they just come and pick them off so it was, every year was a rebuild so it's not something I'm uh, not an unfamiliar territory for me so um, it was a slow start uh, we started off, uh, I think, mid-August, which I won't do again. Um, but the town was up and running, and I said, "Why not? Let's get let's get things going." Mm -hmm. But it's hard to get uh, uh, dads and and working men out, you know. Right. So next year, I think we'll start in September, you know, and uh, and we just invite uh, people to skate. So, but what I'm trying to create here is a family, and. Um, so hopefully we'll only be looking for a couple guys each year. Mm -hmm. You know, I want this to be here forever, and I want the core to stick together. And and uh, you know, after getting um, a, a real eye opener of what we're up against um, this year, the boys bonded real quick on that long bus ride home last Friday. That's you amazing. You should have seen it. Yeah, they were singing, yelling, <laughs> chanting, screaming. And that's what you want. It was amazing. It yeah. was actually a fun, long, super long bus ride home, but uh, to watch the boys bond that quickly was uh, pretty impressive. Well, for that's sure. a good so, sign. Yeah. Yeah, we're building character. Character, culture, family culture, character, and caring, 100%. And if you don't want to be at the rink, and if you're not smiling coming to the rink, I want to know about it, and I want to know why, and how I can help, and how I can make things better for you, and better for your experience. That's me. Yeah, and I think, you know what, it is, it's all about the experience. I mean, the guys are going out there, they're going to be very competitive, they're going to play, but uh, they want to have a great experience just like the people who are coming out to watch want to have a great experience. No question. And I think that, and it comes from the top down, which I think is absolutely amazing. Yeah, no, it is. It's fun. And I, I'm pretty, you'll see me running around like a banshee, like <laughs> crazy, crazy, running crazy. Like, I just want to make sure everybody's having fun and I want them to come back and I certainly want them to spread the word. Awesome. Tim, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Tina. Best of luck for the season. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon. Hopefully. And thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye-bye for now.